When you first start Microsoft Office Accounting, you will need to either import your legacy company files to Microsoft Office Accounting 2008, or start new and set up your company with relevant information, including name and address details, bank account information, tax methods, tax rates, and payroll details. If you were using a previous version of Microsoft Office Accounting, you can choose to open an existing company, choose your company by double-clicking, and you will then be prompted with the Upgrade Wizard. If you're starting a new company, you can select this option from the Start menu, or choose File a New Company if you've already closed the Start menu. You can then include company details, the type of business in your company file information. We'll start with the company name, and if your legal name is different than the company name, you can input this. But if you use the tab key, Microsoft Office Accounting 2008 will automatically populate the legal name as the company name. You can use the tab key to navigate between the fields. Enter your street address as well as a relevant suite number. Also include the city, state, and zip, and specify your country or region. You can also include an email as well as a website. Your federal tax ID number. Then choose Next. You can then choose your type of business. Microsoft Office Accounting 2008 offers a variety of descriptions for your business. By choosing one, accounting will automatically set up many of the details for your chart of accounts based on the type of business that you run. We'll choose IT services for our business type and choose Next. You will then create your company file information. Microsoft Office Accounting 2008 will prompt you with the location in your small business accounting folder, or you can select Browse to change this. We'll then select Finish. With the setup complete, you will then be taken to the dashboard for Microsoft Office Accounting 2008 starting with the Resource Center.